Good morning, my name is Chris Fox, and today we're talking about making your character's lives a bad country song, and my hair kind of reflects that. Your main character in most stories, this won't work in every genre, but in most stories, making them harried and put upon and they never have enough time, you know, they woke up late, you know, and their hair's a mess now, um, they got written up at work. Uh, you know, things are just going wrong in their life. You know, someone shaved their cat and their dog got spray painted uh, and their car is lost in their porch. I mean, you think about every lyric from every country song you've heard in your life and you want to make at least some of that apply to the character. So when you're writing this character, they should have a much tougher life uh, than a lot of the people around them. And you're, we're doing this because we want to show that our character handles adversity well. It's, it's a way of saving the cat. If you can show that our character is fairly good-natured about the fact that maybe they're poor or, you know, maybe they're just in a bad situation where their boss is a total jerk, you know, maybe they don't have enough time where they were out um, the night before doing something really important uh, and then they ended up, uh, the power went out and so their alarm didn't go off and, and their hair is a mess and they have to go into work. Um, you can decide what that looks like, but what you want to do is make sure that you are inconveniencing them constantly. They're always fighting an uphill battle. And what I tend to do is in the first half of the novel, so if you're looking at the story circle that I use so often, Dan Harmon's story circle, the first half of the book, uh, this tends to happen much more frequently. And in the second half of the book, they start fixing things because as it turns out, you have control over your own life. And as they're taking control over their own life, these things that used to happen to them don't anymore because we're demonstrating to the audience that they've changed. So this is sort of subtle in the background where you don't have to ever mention it to the reader, but you can have your reader's life be chaotic and out of control and things are not going well. And then what you can do is have it kind of gradually fall under control and they're writing things by the end of the plot. And so part of their character development is getting their crap together. And I found that readers really like this. They like to see people who are, are scattered and don't really know what's going on um, and, and see uh, growth perhaps because we want to see that in ourselves. I don't know, but it does tend to work really well. Anyway, I'd love to hear what you think about this and, and about my hair. I, I just thought it'd be funny. Uh, let's see, personal news. Uh, I'll try and keep this brief. For those of you that I've talked to, and there have not been very many, um, I'm just going to be blunt. My dad's not doing great. I, last Friday at this time, was driving in a car down to San Diego from my house for a thousand miles in a weekend and, and I spent the weekend down with my dad and my sister um, and we had a great time but um, my dad's not doing well and I've got a lot going on beyond that in terms of the uh, 5,000 words per hour course the beta just ended and I got tremendous amounts of feedback so now I'm doing re-recording for videos um, but I also have a couple of competing pre-order deadlines so I have on my birthday next month the Builders, which is the end of my first series. So I started the series in 2014, and it's finally going to come to, to an end, uh, Deathless. And then after that, like right after that, on August 1st, I have the first book in Shattered Gods coming out. So my summer's nuts. Um, I've cut off everything. I'm in triage mode at this point, uh, just trying to get stuff done. So I've pretty much disappeared from the world. And, and that's why I got a video out this morning, because I, I needed to say something. It's been three weeks, and people are like, is Chris still alive? I am, um, I, I promise. Um, things are going pretty well in general. I'm just, you know, I'm so overloaded. Uh, anyway, that's where things are at. I apologize for not getting an update up for a while. I hopefully will talk to you guys next week now that things are a bit more on track. Have a great week. I'm going to get back to the writing.